Prova. Good afternoon. My name is Victor Rios, and uh, I'm going to present the next case that is going to be performed by Dr. Propilia. This case uh, is a laparoscopic right upper pole nephrectomy. And the medical history is a male, 84 years old, that uh, went to the hospital for abdominal pain. Uh, in the ultrasound, there was a discovery of a right renal mass. And in the CT scan, uh, it is shown a large right upper pole kidney tumor uh, of 58 millimeters. And uh, in the report, it, uh, it said that it was partially necrotic. There was no signs of vein invasion and no pathologic notes. We have here some uh, representative images uh, which we can uh, see that there is the mass in the right kidney. And in the next, in the next slide, we have a reconstruction of the CT scan uh, where we can see the the right renal mass in the upper pole of the right kidney. So in conclusion, uh, we have a large upper pole right kidney tumor and the uh, indication proposed was laparoscopic right upper pole nephrectomy. Um, before we have not uh, hear anything from the um, yes. your colleague that explained the cases can you explain again? Yes, I explain very well. So the patients, this is a patient uh, 84. I'd like to repeat 84 years old. So it means that the patients have uh, a lesion. Uh, the lesion is a uh, lesion of six centimeters, about six centimeters. Uh, the lesion is located in the upper pole. There is a little bit of infiltration of the posterior part of the upper pole uh, kidney and another thing that I'd like to emphasize is that the, the le lesion is uh, necrotic so it means that uh, it's a little bit challenge uh, under two point of view. First of all because uh, the lesion is a uh, uh, large lesion, the second because it's necrotic but there is another point that is a little bit challenge is due to the fact that around the kidney there is uh, at least four centimeters uh, fat, uh, fat uh, so it means that the gerota fascia is very, very uh, thick. So I, I hope to dissect, uh, obviously, the challenge is to have a good dissection, and uh, I try to do this, and obviously during the dissection, I obviously I try to avoid the, to, to injury the capsule of uh, the tumor. So this is the reason why this, uh, uh, this tumor is, uh, is challenges. And so I prefer to do a retroperitoneoscopic access because uh, this has been scheduled. And uh, so I try to, to do the, the access that I use uh, when I, the lesion are located in the posterior face of the kidney. And uh, obviously also when the tumor is located in the upper pole. So the indication in terms of location tumor and in terms of uh, characteristics of the patients are excellent. So I think that the, the, the access, the retroperitoneoscopic access is the best one. Moreover, I decided to do this type of access because up uh, this morning we had the opportunity to see many robotic approaches and uh, some laparoscopic approach and it's very rare to see the retroperitoneoscopic approach and I try to show this approach to this, uh, this evening. Uh, obviously, I, I speak about evening because we are here from this morning. We did and we saw many procedures, very interesting procedures and uh, I hope to continue in the, with the, this series. And uh, this is, uh, the, uh, now I begin the, uh, the, the incision with the retroperitoneoscopic approach. So can you give me the scalpel? Usually, I perform the incision here at the level of iliac crest. Uh, this one, at this level. And so, the incision is a 12 millimeter incision. 
can you give me the scissor, please? The scissor. Okay. And I dissect the muscle in this way, as you can see, and I try to enter in the retroperitoneoscopic space. I, can you give me a little bit of gel, please? Gel. Du gel. Du gel. And so I dissect the retroperitoneoscopic space. Ah, okay, I did already. And obviously I try to dissect the the retroperitoneum scope space, thank you, uh, thanks to the balloon. So the balloon that uh, I introduce, uh, I usually I use uh, a special balloon that is a uh, uh, balloon with uh, a shape uh, like a ball, but this is not uh, the typical balloon that we use, and so we could have some difficulties because it's important to respect the, the Obviously, it is important to respect the anatomy, and especially we need to respect the peritoneum during the, this phase, during the dissection, because otherwise we have the gas that we pass to the, in the peritoneal space, and so we have some difficulties during the dissection and during the procedure. So we did already the dissection, and under guidance, finger guidance. Now I introduce uh, three trockers. The first one is located here. Can you give me the scalpel, please? This one. Okay. Give me 12 millimeter trocker, please. Okay, thank you. Okay. I introduce now Another choker, five millimeter choker here. Five millimeter, please. Okay. Scalpel, please, again. Okay, sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, and now I introduce another scalp, another choker here. Sorry. Can you give me the Aston, please? Aston is this one. Okay, can you give me suture? And so, as you can see, I introduced four trockers. The shape of this introduction, of this technique is uh, the diamond shape. It's the diamond for ladies that are here this evening. And uh, so I, I fixed now the, the trocker, the Aston, and so we can begin to in, in perform the insufflation 12. Uh, millimeters, please, and you can, no, no, no. 12 millimeters is okay, and then the flow should be the maximum. Can you give me? Okay. Okay. So, now we introduce uh, the optical, and so this is the retroperitoneum space. Okay. I try, I try after that I fixed the choker with uh, silk, uh, I begin my procedure and I try to show the, this partial nephrectomy. Okay, if it's possible, I do a nucleation. I don't know if we have the, the opportunity to show the, 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 the pictures of the CT scan, but I think that it was possible, it is possible, in my opinion, to perform a nucleation in the upper part of the, 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 the lesion, but in the medium part of the lesion, it's not possible to do this because uh, the lesion is a little bit uh, is in, involved, the parenchyma. It's okay, it's no problem. Zero, one, two, it's not important. And so I try to 
uh, if possible, to, di to perform an enucleation because, uh, as you know, the enucleation, in my opinion, is, uh, is a, a good technique bec uh, under different point of view. First of all, in terms of uh, oncologic point of view, my especially is a good technique because it prevents uh, bleeding uh, during the operation and obviously prevents also bleeding in the post-operative state because uh, we can have a good control of a single vessel. Another point that uh, if you want, you can discuss is the indication. So as you know, these are all patients, so there are some uh, limitations in, for uh, indication in all patients. There is uh, an open discussion about uh, indication for partial nephrectomy or radical nephrectomy. And uh, so you can discuss about this during the procedure. If there are some questions about this, I am here for answer and uh, for discuss about this, uh, this indication. So usually I prefer to do partial nephrectomy because uh, we think in our experience we have not uh, limitation. And uh, we also, in, the, in my experience in which we consider patients older than 75 years old, the patients, uh, the results, the post-operative stay and the complications are excellent, so are similar the other, uh, the other, uh, uh, the young patients. Can you give me, uh, no, uh, it goes for uh, drying this, for cleaning this one? Okay, okay, thank you. This is the little peritoneum fat, okay, as you can see, and uh, I dissect the renal lodger from the psoas muscle. This is the psoas muscle, and it's, uh, this is my landmark now. And uh, I try to follow my landmark during my procedures because this landmark is essential in order to prevent uh, injuries of other organs. And so this, uh, I think, one of the most important points so it's important to dissect, considering always some landmark, and one of the most important in the retroperitoneum uh, technique is obviously the Stop landmark of uh, source muscle. Okay. Can you show me? This is, uh, as you can see, the diaphragm. And uh, can you go down? Down, please. And uh, in this case, I try to dissect also in the, in the, up to the uh, iliac vessel. Uh, I think that it's important to dissect uh, up to here because uh, uh, when, uh, uh, during the operation, I think that uh, I need to free the kidney, at least in the upper pole, in the medium part of the kidney. And so, as you can imagine, uh, uh, a lot of fat can be free. Francesco, so, yes. can you hear us? Yes, I hear very well. Can you hear me? Are you hearing me? Can you hear me? Si, siamo tu. Ah, yes, we are all here. Okay. And we are listening to you. Okay. You are listening to me? We are listening. Yes, now yes. Okay, to thank your you. Your very clear presentation of everything you are doing. Okay, thank you so much. Can you show this one? Can you give me the session device, please? Session. Session, please. One moment. Now I try you to. You just arrived on the artery. Yeah. Yes, I try to find the arteries. And uh, I, as you can see, the artery is here. Can you show me? Okay. This is the artery. So in a few minutes, you can dissect the artery without the difficulties because uh, the big advantages uh, that uh, you can record in the retroperitoneoscopic approach is uh, the, the possibility, can you, Joan, okay, to dissect and to find immediately the uh, renal artery. This is uh, one of the most important advantages 
can, uh, the, the vision is not so clear. Can you? I think that you need to, to clean the land, please. Okay. Another point, I don't like to clean, uh, to dissect perfectly the artery because I think that uh, when I put the, 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 the bulldog here, obviously it's important to have a little bit of the t tissue around because it's important to protect the artery to prevent the spasm during in the post-operative phase when I remove, uh, obviously, the, the clamp. So, uh, it's useful to, to dissect the, the artery, but not so cl clean so in a perfect way. So because I think that uh, it's useful in, for preventing, uh, preventing uh, uh, lesions, first of all, it's not so clear. Are you thinking to isolate also the vein? No, it's not necessary. So in a retro peritoneoscopic mm -hmm. approaches, as you can see, we have the vein here, but usually I don't like to isolate the vein. Usually I isolate the vein only in the in a transperitoneal approach because if you like to, to isolate the artery, uh, uh, the step, one of the steps is obviously to dissect very well the, uh, the vein. So this is the arteries. And so, can you give me bipolar, please? There is some little bit of bleeding here. Okay. Okay. Coagulation. Okay. It doesn't work so well. Doesn't work. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. At this point, as you can see, I dissected the artery, and so I, I move up the fat that is the preperitoneal fat, and this is important in order to have a good vision of, especially of the upper pole. So, can you move down with the camera? So I dissect in this way the preperitoneal fat and the so coagulation please. Okay. Okay. Down, down, down. It's important to have a good preparation this phase, this step, because only in this way you can have a good space, a good working space. Okay. Can you move the smoke? Smoke? Okay. 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 In the left. In the left. In the left. Okay. Thank you. Stop. It's sufficient. A little bit here. A little bit here. A little bit here. And so. Please. Okay. Okay. Coagulation. Okay. 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 Down. Okay. This is my, my renal lodge. The landmark are very clear. And so I now, now obviously I need to open the renal lodge here in order to find the kidney. Likely, the fat is not uh, sticky. I can dissect easily. I have not difficulties. Can you coagulate this? Okay, thank you. As you can see, you have uh, different layers. One layer is here, this one. Okay. Okay. 
left, left, back, down. Can you show? Okay. Wait for her. Okay. Can you cover it, please? Wait for her. Okay. Go. Wait for her. Okay. No, no, no. 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 Please. Okay. No. Okay. 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 As you can see, I need to remove a, a big quantity of fat. And so, for me, it's very important to prepare. The space, because uh, I need now. Okay. Okay. Down. Okay. 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 Excellent. Okay. Okay. Okay, session, please. Okay. Simply spoke a lot. Okay. One moment. Now I move. I remove a little bit of fat of also in the anterior face of the kidney and the, and the lateral parts. And in order to see better the layers that I need to dissect. Okay. Can you clean the lens again? Okay. So. The upper pole, as you can see, is uh, cleaned. Here. In the right. Here. The tumor is here, as you can see. Huh? It's clear. It's a little bit soft, so I need to respect the capsule for preventing injury. And I dissect slowly because uh, the lesion is not so small, it's bigger and necrotic inside, in the center part. So, Can you give me a emolock, please? Emolock. Okay. Caesar, please. Okay, thank you. Excellent. My old preferred Caesar. Coagulation. My monopolar. Uh. Okay. 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 It's a bit there. Little bit. Peritoneum. 
e si attaccia il tuo deparito neomo. As you can see. I open a little bit the deparito neomo here. <laughs> There. Because the lesion is attached to the peritoneum here. Is clear? I try to dissect the lesion from the peritoneum. It's not so easy. But I try to do this. Ok. Ok. As you can see, this is the tumor. Can you show better here? Here there is the vena cava. Ok. Below. Here and now I open the gerota fascia. Yeah, Emolok, please. Emolok, another one, please. Caesar, please. Okay. Can you show me better? Coagulation, please. Coagulation. Can you show me there? Okay. 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 Okay, perfect. I'm lock this. I need to remove this fat. Okay. Another hemolock, please. Another one. Yes, Again, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Down. Can you show me down? Down, 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 please. Down, please. No. Okay, okay. Okay. Voilà. Ole. We begin again with the station. Back. Okay, I need to clean here. Okay. Uh, big quantity of fat, obviously. I 
say you before, and so this is. Uh, Can you show me, can you give me another, uh, uh, Joanne? Okay. So this one? one. Yeah, it's okay. No, it's, not it's okay the same. It's okay. So, thank you. Okay, very cleaning, and so obviously it's important now to see the surface of uh, the kidney. I need to clean a little bit here. Finally, we, I see, I found the kidney surface. Okay. Slowly, please, can you show me better here? Slowly, step by step, because otherwise you can uh, injure the capsule. Okay. 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 Can you show me? Okay, this one, this fat, this fat, this fat. Okay. Can you show me here? Here. Here. Okay. Okay. So this is the tumor that is in front of me, but now I need to clean also the margins around the tumor. Can I have ultrasound after? Can you show me with that? Down, down, please. Down. This is the artery for adrenal gland. It's clear. Adrenal gland arteries. Okay, I dissecting the, the adrenal gland from the kidney. 
and this is a fundamental step. Session, please. In order to have a good mobilization, as you can see, of the kidney. This maneuver usually is very easy because, uh, but in this case, it's not so easy. It's a little bit difficult because obviously there is the, the large mass can impede me to reach the adrenal loggia. Okay. Okay. This is the adrenal gland. It's evident, the adrenal gland. Can you show me better? Can you show me? Okay. Oh. Okay. Can you give me the hemolock? This is the artery. Okay, perfect. Okay. One, another hemolock, please. Another one. See, sir, please again. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Francesco? Yeah. Eh, fai vedere quello che ti interessa okay. di più, perché i minuti non sono tanti. Okay, thank you so much for that. And uh, can you give me a monologue, please? Is ending. Monologue. Is sending time uh, able for the transmission? Another one. Now I am dissecting the upper pole. When I finish to dissect the upper pole from the adrenal gland, so the adrenal pole, the upper pole is completely clean, and so I can move down the upper pole so I can. Uh, at this point, I can uh, dominate the upper pole. I can do my partial nephrectomy. So, okay. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Okay. There is a little bit of uh, adrenal gland here. And now I am cleaning giving me again the suction and so when I finish this step everything is more clear okay down down ah, Okay. Okay, down. Left. Ringraziamo, sì. Eh, Emolok, please again. Francesco. Yeah. Compliment for your procedure. We have only five minutes for the okay. communication with your audience. Okay. But we thank you very much for your uh, very good, very good job. Thank you so much. But as you can see, I now... Ec now the upper pulse is completely free. So this is, uh, can, you, can you show me better? This is the upper pole, okay. And so I can uh, perform uh, the recession of the upper pole easily without the difficulties because the upper pole is uh, completely mobilized, this one. 
and so after the I do my ultrasound uh, uh, assessment of the upper pole, obviously I will do the enuclearization. I think the enuclearization become in this case the incision of uh, uh, upper pole of the kidney and uh, it become a recession, a polar recession. This is the incision that I will do. And if you'd like, can you give me, if you want, the... If you want, you can give me the ultrasound, and after I clamp the artery in order to perform... Do you have? Otherwise, it's not important. Give me, please, the, uh, the clamp. clamp. Give me... Okay, I clamped. Clamp the session, please, again. Thank you. Okay, and now I begin the recession. Cecil, can you show me better, please? The left, and they perform a, a polar recession of the kidney. Okay. There is some cyst here, small cyst. Session, please, again. Okay, the tumor is here. Okay. Thank you. Down? Down? Here? Okay, perfect. Okay. Show this one. Okay. Scissor again. Okay. It's uh, one fight against the fat at the time. Ah. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I am doing my polar recession. This is the plane, the decision plane that I Francesco, found. Francesco, yeah. ti volevo dire di lavorare con tranquillità. Okay. Perché eh, il satellite eh, ci ha lasciato, però okay. stiamo registrando okay. e il tuo intervento sarà poi sul... Thank you, su, su YouTube. Su, Thank you so much. Su YouTube. <ride> eh, please, Emolok. Ok. Ti, ti piace? È Perfetto, venuto? sto vedendo come eh. sta venendo bene. Bravo. Questo è quello che dico io, vedi, bisogna chiudere le arterie singolarmente, forbice. Scissor, please. So in this case, uh, thanks to the fact that I clamp the single arteries, I can save time during the incision, a good nucleorization or recession, or incision is uh, essential in order to prevent it, to save time in uh, during the reno renography step. Down? No. Ah. C'era un arteriuzzo. Mi ne fai vedere? Ok. 
ok ok eh, bien Ok. Voilà. We finish. Ok, thank you. And now I perform, I can perform the suture. Ok. This one. Can you give me a big needle, please? Yes, I prefer to use uh, big needles, not small needles, because I think that uh, the vascular is... Le grand, le grand. Le plus grand que vous savez, madame. Bicril. Bicril. Et sur. Samsa. C'est ça, c'est ça. Okay. Voilà. Vedi il problema di questo filo che non scivola. It's not for you, huh? It's for me. Yes. Okay. Session, please. Huh? I need after Flosil or other glue for uh, the kidney and for the adrenal gland. No. No, after uh, uh, I'd like uh, to have a... Needle driver. To use the flow seal, the glue. Uh, flow seal or surgi flow. Surgi flow. Fai vedere, dai, ti prego. filamento sarebbe stato un momento che non scivola sta ma eh? c'è buon? c'è buon, c'è l'italien c'è buon ok ah Ok, è molloc again, è molloc again, è molloc madame, è molloc madame, merci. Voilà, old needles please, old needles. Uh... 
Walter. Ok. 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 Is good? Ok. Tirami un po' indietro sto troppo. Ok. Il nido è grey? No, no. Eh, continua, in avanti. Ok. Fai vedere. Fai vedere. Do you have another needle like this? Ok. E Moloch again? Thank you so much. And another needle, please, the same. Scissor, please. Sorry. Okay. Fammi vedere, cazzo. Oh, porca puttana, ma capisci che non mi fai vedere o no? Fai giù, fai giù. Dai, ti prego, fammi vedere, vai giù. Sei un disastro per te. giù ok è molto ok again thank you ok all needle the last Yeah, put the join, big join if it's possible. 24. Okay, perfect. Now I remove the clamp. Okay. Wait, Joe, fai vedere sotto. Okay, clamp. John, please. Bipolar, please, first of all. Bipolar. Okay. 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 Thank you. Joan? Do you have Joan? No. Torna indietro, dai, torna indietro. Ok, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Yes, suction, and after I control the bleeding from, from the adrenal gland, because the adrenal gland was attached to the fat. Okay. Can you give me a John again? No, I am okay. Session, please. It's good? Very good. Huh? Now I try. Uh, but I am sorry that I, uh, uh, I was late for uh, the connection, but I don't know. But it's sufficient to, to show something. Okay. Fai vedere qua avanti, anche tu, fai vedere. Vedi che sanguina da lì? Ok, perfetto. Ok. Tana sta suzione. Ok. Can you give me a molock, please? Good to do this way and this way. Okay. Another emolock if you have. Vous pouvez me donner un autre emolock, madame? C'est bon. Voilà. Huh? It's good. Okay. Session. Aspiration, madame. C'est bon Ok. We control also the bleeding from the adrenal gland. And so, I, I finish. Can you give me the uh, flocil? Ok. Ah, something here. Yes. Yes, I want glue. Can you give me session again? Glue? And uh, okay, it's better than uh, robotic. <laughs> what do you think? It's better or not? Uh, Can he inject? Do we have this one? Okay, thank you. Ah. I show you many. C'est le flocil, c'est bon. C'est la meilleure glue qui existe, je pense. Thing here, from the renal capsule. Here. 
ok? È sufficiente to follow the bleed, the bleed, so this is the artery. This one, this one, look at. Che mi è emolo. Ok. This one, this one. Voilà, this is a small artery. Ok. Finished. Ok. Uh. So we have a, a lot of uh, fat and I put again the, the fat uh, in the same position if I can. Can you give me another, uh, Joan, please? You don't put it in Troca. Ok. This one. Oh, oh, oh. Ok. Oh. Okay. C'è un altro qua. And so you can leave the tumor here, in the same position. This one, hemolock, please. And so the anatomy is restored. Okay? Et l'opération, c'est bon. Pas de l'opération. Non, à ma loc, si vous pouvez. Ok. Ok.